This month of our Holy Prophet وسلم, as we said yesterday, we are approaching its end. The Holy Prophet وسلم, all Muslims wish and want to see him even if once in their life they would like to see him in their dreams. This is a beautiful wish. It is the best, most beautiful of dreams to see our Holy Prophet in our dream. And it is granted to very few people. People ask how we should do it, what we should do, so he may enter our dream. You can make salawat, and you would be at least connected through the reality to our Holy Prophet because our Holy Prophet is said to be Hayyun Yurzaq. He is living and he is being sustained. He is giving sustenance. Some these ones call him dead, those who don't do not respect him. Even martyrs, shaheeds, are not to be called dead, says Allah Azza wa Jalla. So how do you say that about our Prophet? And they claim to understand the Quran and say this is our language. They're dragging the whole world to doubt and to deviation. When you make salawat on the Prophet, he replies back and he is told who that salawat is coming from. And it reaches him and he's happy about it and he responds accordingly. Therefore, it would be very nice if we saw him in our dreams, but if we haven't, we are still connected with him through a stronger connection, which is to make salawat, and he immediately is notified about it, and he sends salams back to us with more, much more, and much more beautiful things. Much more than our words that are worth nothing. His statement cannot be compared to ours. His words and sayings cannot be compared to ours. It's much higher. So now that we are approaching the end of this month of salawat, there's no need to end it. To, you can continue the salawat and it's beneficial for everything. Some people say they're forgetful. Well, it's good for forgetfulness. Make salawat and you'll remember immediately. When you forget something, say Allah Muhammad Muhammad wa Muhammad. If you say that, you will surely remember again. And it's good for your health and well-being and your sustenance, rizq. It's beneficial for everything. Our Holy Prophet's benefit is at first he saves you from the hellfire. He saves you from hell and all bad things, all evil. So the more you honor the Holy Prophet the better. Do it. Don't listen to those shaitans. There are two types of shaitans. The jinn shaitans and the human shaitans. Human shaitans are much worse than the jinn ones. Under the clothes of Islam, they do all sorts of wrong things. So don't lend an ear to them. 
honor and glorify the Holy Prophet. And the more you make, the, the better. That much more you will be honored and it will be a benefit for you. May Allah grant us to be next to him in paradise, inshallah.